Hi there, welcome back to JD Answers. Today I'll be installing the front and rear iWay dash cam into a 2011 Hyundai Elantra with the red wire, but in this case, the blue wire. The first thing you have to do is to remove this back panel. I got my post clip remover and I pretty much just use this with all my installation videos to pop out all these here. This is a great gadget to have. I recommend you have one. I'll put links for this in the description down below. Now that we got the back panel off, let's go ahead and look at this clip to take this clip off. The one that we're going to use for the to install the dash cam. This is the area where we're going to install the dash cam and we're going to run the wires into it. So I'm going to get my post rate clip holder again to pop this out. And you can see how it just pops in and out from the there. Now that we have that part taken off, we're going to install the dash cam onto this piece. So in order to do that, I'm going to have to bend this frame. So I'm going to bend it in. And then I'm going to try to push it back at the same time. Okay. Then what I'm going to do is simply screw this rear view camera onto this piece here. And it'll be as shown. So let me go ahead and do that too. Now sometimes you're drilling into the frame, which is the same thing. And what you want to do is just drill to the area that you're going to screw into. Once you have a position where you want to drill, just go ahead and start drilling. Be careful with your fingers. Reverse it out. One error that I did is I put actually position the screws that actually are going to drill are going to screw into the holder here, the clamp. We don't want that, so I got to move it up over here now. So this is where I had it before. I'm going to move it up and then start drilling. All right, simply drill in. All right, we got that in there. All right, now let's tighten it up. Right, you can see how it's screwed in. Now I just got to pop it up in there. But before I do that, I need to make space for this wire to go into the car. So I'm probably gonna, what I'm gonna do is drill here so the wire could fit flushed into it. So let's go ahead and start that. Kind of like making a hole here but eventually it's going to tear up. All right, not sure if you saw that. I just simply just drilled and it broke out. Let's clean that up. So when the wire comes in, and you can see how it's going to be flushed with it. All right, let's install this now. Let's see how it looks. I'm going to install the wire into the hole. Make sure my flush uh, cable is there, it's flushed. And we're simply just gonna pop it back in. All right, it's there. Okay, next is to route the wires behind the frame here. So I'm gonna start with the, the one with the blue wire. I simply just push it in here. Be 
go. One more in there. I'm actually gonna run this one out this way. Okay. And then I'm gonna connect them. There's pretty much only one way. One has an indention on it, and the other one has an enclosure for the indention. Push them together and they go in. Okay. Now the wires are all in the behind. Now is the time to install the blue wire, which in most installations is usually a red wire. So let's see where we're gonna put this. What we're going to use is the reverse light here, this light to tap into to connect the blue wire, or in most cases, red wire. So let's look how it looks behind it. Okay, let's see how it looks. We're gonna go in here, and the one we need to tap into is this one in here. There's an orange and there's a black wire. Now the black is usually the negative, and the orange is the power source. So we're gonna use that orange wire to tap into. When we come into our, our area, you see there's one clamp here with some wires in it. Then you have an orange and then another orange. So if we take out this first one here, let's take a look at our lights. You'll notice that one is missing right there, okay? And the other one is still in, okay? So let's go back to the top and let's reinstall that wire harness. I loosened the other wire harness and you can see the light bulb moving in there. So that means I got the right one. There are several ways to tap into this wire. You could cut some of the covering off and then wrap the blue wire around it and then electrical tape it together. Or again, uh, instead of putting electrical tape, you could solder this together. Now what I use is a simple clamp here that clamps around this wire, the wire that I need to. It'll break the wire and it would also connect. When it breaks the wire, it will connect into there with those clamps. Then once that's in there, I will use this here to install them both together. And that to me is the fastest way to do it. So I'll try that way. So I'm gonna clamp it on once. use some pressure to see, break the wire a little bit and just to hold it for me so I could use some clamps to close it together rather than my fingers. I'm trying to switch hands here. And then try to, use, I'm using the needle nose to close it because there's not much room to put other uh, type of pliers in there. Now, I'll try to see, since I got that closing where I don't have to hold it with my other hand, use these to really push it together. All right, now let's check our work. Can it come out? Nope, it's good, it's in there. So I'm gonna use, put the blue wire into here. Now, the opening is very large. So I'm gonna splice this wire, but I'm gonna fold it in there before I put it inside the terminal. All right. Cut it. Use this to take it off. Oops. Still too large, get a smaller one. Crip it. All right, that was the first one was too small, then was too big. So let's try it one more time. Let's go a little farther back. Let's turn the crips. All right. We got the wires we need, turn them. 
Now that we have a wire here, we're going to bend it again, fold it in half, and then fold it again, twist again. All we're doing is making the wire thicker. Now, we can put the wire inside the terminal. And you want to make sure that it's touching the copper, not too much of the blue wire is going in there. All right, I think it's about right. I'm gonna use these first to pinch it. If you look right, you can actually see the wire going into the blue area, but it might be hard on the camera, but I can see it here. So I'm gonna go ahead and start to crimp. Squeeze that together. It does not come out, we did good. All we gotta do now is simply insert them both together. And you gotta make sure that the silver area in there that part, the little tongue there, I guess you want to call it, goes inside that insert there. So let's see here. Yep, I see it going in. We are good. It's in there. Now the next thing we need to do is test it. Now to test the camera. The main screen is the front camera. The picture in picture is the reverse. Now let's see if the reverse backup camera works. Put it in reverse. And you can see the grid lines now. That means the backup camera works. You, you can see how it took over the whole screen. So the rear reverse camera is the main screen with the grid lines. Now you see those grid lines? Now to adjust those grid lines, when you're testing out how far you need to back up, which is I, I recommend you do that to an object, simply press uh, arrow up or down. I'm pressing the down button and you see how you could adjust the grid lines. So as of right now, we know the backup camera and the reverse camera work. Let's go ahead and put these wires away. Since all that is working, all we got to do with the blue wire, just push it back in there. And remember, when we put the panel back, it's not really going to show. Okay. And then this wire, we're simply just going to run it on this area here. So I'm just going to start to start it here. And this is going to clamp it in. With this vehicle, it actually has clamps to hold the wires together. So I'm going to use this to bring the wires into the trunk area. All right, now let's go into the trunk. Now that we have the wire coming down into the trunk, we're going to route it behind the uh, upholstery here. And first and then just push it behind there all right now what we're gonna do is move the seat down so we can move the wire into the cabin area for this Hyundai Elantra we'll just push that clip out all right so let's move the seat out the seat comes down there it goes from the inside here we're gonna run the wire here. So let's push it behind and it's in there. Now what we're going to do is route the wire behind here again like we talked about earlier. And just push that out and these things pop out. All right the wires behind there. I'm going to simply just push this back into place and now we can run the wire in here. What are we gonna do now is run the wire inside here. So you get your posture clip holder again, and you could take a little bit of the weather strip out here. Just pull it out. Just strip, it really pulls out easily. Uh, what you wanna do is just get this and just pop things out and it'll pop out. 
and in the front and you what you want to see do now you can know if you can see but there's clips that go into the seat that I can see from right here from my position so I'm just gonna push that up and then they'll come out all right now that I got those out I'm gonna run the wire behind it so let's go ahead and run that wire behind it Then what I'm going to do is push it. I'm going to push that wire in there. In between. Okay. Got the wire behind it. Now what I'm going to do is just push this back in there. I'm going to push it up push it with my hand in but make sure that wire is behind there push it down and then with your with your hand pretty much just hammer it down and let it come out to the edge all right it's a little bit of opening but you don't see no wires but if I could just There you go. I got it around the clip. Now you don't see nothing. Now that we have the wire here, it's installed. What we need to do now is start from the beginning where we're going to install the camera and work our way back because if there's any slack remaining, we want it inside the headliner towards the back seat. Not the front seat because there's airbags and so forth in there. So we want them in the back side. And this is where we're going to put this any remaining slot. So let's start from the beginning. Now, since we're going to use the reverse camera, we don't want the camera hidden behind the rear view mirror. So we're going to go a little bit farther down and then we're going to just click it in there. Now, you got to make sure that this part is going uh, vertical, straight down completely, not to the side because your camera will be to the side. So we're centered to the mirror and we're going down. Now you could also have it closer to the to the left if you want it, but we're gonna go center. And let's see, this about right here. Make sure it, I'm going straight down. Pushing it up. And then we're gonna tighten it with the lever moving it to the right. And then you hear a click. Let's hear that click again. There it goes. Now to install the camera, you can see it's a little screw in type, which is right here. So I'm gonna push it, we're gonna put it in here and we're gonna turn it a little. Actually let's adjust this and move this completely down. You see, you heard those clicks? Well you could adjust that. So I'm gonna get the camera, I'm gonna turn it in there because it's a screw first. Now that it's screwed, I'm going to use a tiny knob going down towards the camera to tighten it. All right, it's there now. Now I could tighten this one on the right side. So screw the, this one in by hand. Once you get to the end, you push, you screw this one, this tiny knob down to towards the camera to tighten it and then you could use this other one on the right side to tighten the lever from going in and out now let's grab our wire from the back make sure the wire is not outside of the car from the back seat to the front seat it has to be inside the car I'm going to the right side of the view, rear view mirror so it could catch the cord. Install it on there. Then working my way straight up the rear view mirror area. And then the rear view mirror here behind there, that bar is going to hold the wire. And then we're going to move towards the left inside the headliner. 
Okay. Now we're going straight behind the rear view mirror. Okay. And the wire is going underneath the headliner. All right here. Okay. So this is when we're going to use the crowbar that came with the dash cam. So with one hand, run straight behind the camera to the rear view to the headliner. And you could just push it in with your hand and usually it goes. Then what you want to do is use your crowbar just simply to push it in. That's all I'm doing is pushing it in. And it's going behind the headliner. That's how easy it is. So let's continue. And then just go back real quick to make sure it's all in there real good. Push it in. You're not going to hurt the headliner as long as you're going straight back. Then when we get to the end, this is called an A-pillar. We're simply just going to push it behind there with our um, crow, plastic crowbar. And start from one end, probably the middle, and just start pushing the wire in. Push the, the crowbar, push the, the, the A-liner out a little bit. Or you could simply take it off. But it's not really safe to take it off. We could simply push it in. It is very tight in there, so just work with it and it'll come in. Push it back a little bit. Push it back in. Push it headliner there. Let's get a closer look. So I'm going to take this off a little bit just to show you again. Once you got it in, your crowbar, hold the wire down and just push it in. Work the crowbar left and right as motion like this to push it in and it will go in with no problem all the way to the end and you can actually just pull the wire here let me show you this another trick is to put the crowbar in and just push the wire and it'll go inside and we'll slide it in we're at the end oh look we got a little piece that's all you got to do and you know what from the outside, you can never see anything in here, in this area here. You can never see anything in this area because of the black strip. And then the, I think it has three inches of a little small uh, tent on there. So you're never going to see anything. So we're going to go ahead now and take off the weather strip and start running our wires. And just a, another note is when we get to this part here, the wire is going to be installed behind this pillar here. Behind this, the wire will be right here. We're going to use the plastic crowbar as we did in the front A-frame to push it in there. So let's take a look how it looks between the headliner underneath the weather strip to the door frame. Okay, the first thing we want to do now is take off the weather strip. Remember, just grip and pull down. You don't have to pull the whole thing, just enough till we get to the front wire and enough so we can route the wire on top of this pillar here in the middle. Okay, so this is how it looks. You have the headliner that runs through here, the weather strip is off, and now you have the door frame. So all you have to do is simply just push the wire behind the door frame. I'm sorry, push it behind the headliner. Okay, and that's how you run the head wire inside the headliner. Sorry, this camera's moving. Now, there's going to be times where it's going to be falling, and all you simply do is use the weather strip to push it back in. But this is just to show you how it looks from that part. So I'm putting the wire inside the headliner, and with one hand, I'm holding this part so far that we have. Let's use the crowbar and I'm simply just going to reuse it to push it in. Alright, the wire is in. I'm going to start putting the weather strip just to push it back in there. Where it's holding. Alright, let's push more in there. And the weather strip back. Fix that up a little bit better. And 
and we're there. And I simply just push the other weather strip back. From this point, we're gonna hold the wire on one side and with the crowbar, we're simply gonna just push it in. Okay. And then remember how we just went to the side and that's all we're gonna do. Now you're gonna see some slack here with the weather strip a little bit open. So all we gotta do is simply just push back. Okay. And it'll go in. Now just use your crowbar again to push everything inside. Use your crowbar again, push the wire, make sure you have enough slack to do that. And you can see it's all in there. Then just get your weather strip and hit everything back in. Make sure everything's good and we're good. Now we're gonna repeat the process to the back. Let's pull off the weather strip. Just from where we installed it regionally over here to where we put it in the middle. Okay, this is where we get our slack. We group it together, kind of turn it like I sewn like this, put it in half the slack in half, and we're gonna push it inside the headline. Now here you could push a little down and just start working it inside there. Now remember, you can work in stages. So from here, I have from the middle of the car to about halfway of the back seat, I'm gonna start pushing in the weather strip so it can hold it. Now I can work both hands on this side, starting with pushing it back again. Okay, I got to that part. I just simply work the weather strip back and I'm gonna to start to finish the rest here. Again, now you got to readjust your weather strip because sometimes it's outside the frame. Center your weather strip to the car vehicle. Get the uh, weather strip back. Make sure there's no creaks. I got one right here. There it goes. Got one more. All right, we're all good now. Guess what? We are done installing the rear view camera. So now it's time to start subscribing to my channel, selecting all notifications for all upcoming videos. And so far, if you like this video, give me that thumbs up, because you know, I appreciate that from you. Now let's start with the front dash cam. To install the front dash cam, we're gonna work our way from the dash cam all the way to the power outlet. And the reason is, is because we want the slack behind the carpet in the, in the floorboard. To route our wire, we're gonna start from the dash cam, work our way to the rear view mirror and route the wire from the left side of the rear view mirror because we're working our way to the right. And the reason we're doing this is because we're using the rear view mirror brace as, as our support to hold the wire straight rather than having them dangling. So that's what we're gonna do do first. So let's install the the wire. Okay. And we're going to route the wire. We're going to push it to the left of the cam and start working our way up. To start running the wire from the front dash cam, it's braced with the rear view mirror. We're going to hold it with one hand as we did the other side. And with the crowbar, we're simply just gonna push it in. Make sure you get a real good, uh, make sure it's real good inside in the, in the beginning. And then we can hold it with one hand and use a crowbar to push it in with the other. Okay, now let's work our way to the other side there.
Well, now I'm going to start with this eight pillar. Simply going to push in the middle and with the plastic crowbar, just simply push it in. I'm pulling it back at the same time. Don't pull the wire too hard, you want to bust it. And then just slide it back. All right, now we're at the end. Now let's work on the outside. From the A-frame, we have the wire. We're gonna, again, just simply push out, pull out the weather strip. You only need to pull it from here and then pull it towards the side plate. You only need to pull it to the kick plate because it's going to go in this area. So again, I'm going to run the wire to the inside the A pillar. And then with the other hand, simply move back the weather strip. I'm going to repeat the process all the way down. Now this part's going to get trickier because the, the weather strip's going to get a little hard. So what we're going to do is we're going to route the wire around the kick plate from underneath the dashboard. Just so this is going to hold it for us. Right. I'm just putting it here because it's going to use it as a brace to route this. is inside all the way down I'm holding it with one hand I'm putting the weather strip back starting from the bottom of my way up because you see it's going to get tight and you can see how I was, when I was putting the, the weather strip on the top this part was coming together by itself so all I got to do now is just just hammer it in there. From the kick plate, we're gonna route the wire behind the kick plate to behind the carpet. Before we move on, we wanna go ahead and plug in the power adapter to our power source. And for this vehicle, the power source is on the passenger side. There is one in here, but this power outlet stays on all the time. This one turns off when the car turns off. So this is where we want to put it in. So let's connect it in. And now we're going to see how much slack we have left to work it behind the carpet. So let's go ahead and start that. So we're going to keep routing it from behind. And now we can actually run the wire behind this, uh, this side plate of the center console. It's just simply a flap. It, it's just a, a straight line down here. So it's easy. I could put my hand behind it. I could put my hand behind it behind there. And you can see there's, you can see there's just a little slack. So let's just push that little slack in there. Let's move it behind the carpet. All right. Okay, all done. So we have everything behind the carpet, behind the center console, behind the weather strip. We are now done 
installing the front and rear dash cam. Now let's turn it on. All right, now that we installed the front and rear dash cam, let's start the vehicle. Camera's turning on. We should have a picture and then a picture and a picture. We have not inserted the SD card, which is fine, but we're just looking for the picture and picture in which we have it right there. So let's let's test the rear view camera, making sure the backup camera is working. All right, we have the grid line. Let's reverse a little bit. And everything's working fine. Let's put it in drive. It might move the camera. All right. Okay, now let's start going. Now you can see how the camera, the front and rear are working simultaneously. So what if you're driving, but you just want to see the rear view all the time. So let's see the camera angles right now. So if we hit the arrow down, we have the, the rear view as a main screen and the front camera as a side and side. You click it one more time, you have side to side, which I don't recommend that one because the picture is distorted. And then you have simply just the front and you click it down again. You got simply just the back click it down again and you have back to the original picture and picture so you could choose any mode you want to have this as which uh, which mode you want to have on your main screen so we are done installing the front and rear it works we verified it we tested it and now all you have to do is Subscribe to this channel, select all notifications for all upcoming videos. We have more videos coming out for these um, for this EY dash cam. We got the menu video coming out. We got the features will be coming out soon. So make sure you hit all the notifications. And if this video was helpful for you, make sure you give me that thumbs up. And you know I appreciate that from you. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.